Hello Caffeine Fiends and welcome to another coffee review video for www.getbean.com. I'm Vince, the Mean Bean Machine, and today we're looking at Copper's Choice uh, Rwanda Fuji CWS Honey Coffee. Now, as you can see on this beautiful, it comes in this beautiful packaging, um, really nice. Um, but it doesn't say Rwanda where it would usually uh, say the name of uh, the country of origin of the coffee, but it rather says Palestine and the label has the colors of the Palestinian flag. That is because this coffee uh, is it's 10 pounds, 250 grams and five pounds of this co coffee goes to the Islamic Relief Fund to help supporting the people in Gaza, in Palestine at this time who are displaced uh, and, and currently under siege from uh, the, the state of Israel. Um, so for those of you who aren't aware Israel and Palestine are currently in conflict with each other. Um, Palestine isn't a recognised state by uh, many uh, countries, or most of the UN. Um, so that comes with its own issues and is under siege by kind of a larger first world country uh, bombing it and so on and so forth. So, uh, you know, I've, I received this little card with the coffee that, that informs you about the conflict. So the time of printing, so that was February 24th, in excess of 30,000 civilians have been killed in Gaza. It's now April, that conflict hasn't ended, so that number will be much larger. People have been displaced, people are starving, food cannot get through. Um, aid agencies have been uh, targeted, whether intentionally or not, is, is, is by the by. So aid is not necessarily going through and it's a, a humanitarian crisis at the moment. Now, obviously, there's a lot of politics and uh, a lot of history behind this conflict, and that's not for me to go into. What I will say is that death uh, and atrocity on either side is not acceptable, and we need to be calling for a ceasefire um, and doing what we can. So, like I say, five pounds from the sale of this goes to that fund to help support people, help uh, you know, give them uh, temporary accommodation, shelter at least, uh, food and whatever else. Um, so that's why I've bought the coffee. Um, as always, I've, I've done it as an espresso, an oat latte, and then I've got my glass of water to cleanse my palate. So its uh, tasting notes are stewed fruits cream soda. So it's, it's I'm expecting sort of datey, plummy vibes. Um, and then cream soda, I guess, hints at more of a vanilla-y overtone, maybe quite sugary sweet. Um, so we'll give it a go as the espresso first um, and see how that goes down. So uh, let's give this a go. Oh, oh, there's, so there's this initial darkness that kind of spreads over the tongue and it's very thick and viscous and sort of coats the tongue i guess that's that's more like a like the datey vibe i was implying and then this sort of after taste this wave of sort of caramelly dateyness kind of comes through and really pushes through so i think hardcore kind of espresso drinkers regular espresso drinkers will really kind of like that darkness um, and then those who aren't necessarily, it's not strong or biting. So I think people who don't necessarily drink a lot of espresso can, can get past that. And then that nice sort of caramelly vibe pushes through those, those stewed fruits really come through. Not getting a lot of the uh, cream soda, any kind of vanilla-y thing really. Uh, but we'll give the, we'll cleanse the palate and we'll give the uh, oat latte a go. I'm quite happy with my pour there. So we'll give that a go. And I think maybe the vanilla might come through a bit more where that darkness is pulled back by the milk. So cleanse the palate. As I said, this coffee comes from Rwanda um, itself. So it's single origin, uh, small holders in Rwanda. So we'll give the oat latte a go. Yeah, yeah, so sort of much milder uh, with the kind of oat milk there. But the vanilla comes through a lot more and those stewed fruits are really, they are there right at the back of the tongue. They're sitting there, but I think that vanilla 
kind of I, I i understand where they're coming from from with uh kind of cream soda that short of sugar even it's not kind of obnoxiously sweet um but it, but that vanilla -y tone is sitting there and comes through a lot more than you get less of the stewed fruits although although like i say they are sitting there so yeah really nice as an espresso i think espresso drinkers will like it as will kind of milkier drink drinkers i think it's worth giving it a go i think it is actually for kind of speciality coffee drinkers it is a lovely coffee uh, to buy as well so i'm not going to go away and review this i don't think it's worth my time kind of rating it kind of going oh yeah maybe you should buy it or maybe you shouldn't i think it's a nice coffee that that speciality coffee drinkers will like and i I would recommend going out and buying it, helping support that cause and getting a lovely cup of coffee with it. Um, in the meantime, if you want to help support that cause, I will put a link below for a, a you know, to donate to help the people of Palestine, as well as the direct link to this coffee to buy. In the meantime, you can email your MP, you can go on protest marches, um, and, and, and just look up what you can do to help support this cause. Um, thank you very much for watching. Do hit those like and subscribe buttons. Find me at the Vincewood on Instagram or Get Beaned Coffee on TikTok. Thank you very much and we'll see you all again soon. Bye bye.